China, Telecom is predominantly a state-owned enterprise. It provides Chinese consumers and businesses with fixed line, mobile and internet connections. It operates the world's largest fixed line network, much of it now fibre optic. In 2012, China Telecom aggressively sought to gain competitive advantage by acquiring the 3G network of its state-owned corporate parent, China Telecommunications Corporation. With a 13.4 billion US dollar purchase expected to be complete by the end of 2012, China Telecom will rapidly achieve a 3G presence throughout China. It will have reach in 30 provinces and in most autonomous regions at a time when the Chinese consumers are rapidly migrating from 2G. China Telecom is also improving broadband infrastructure in unserved areas and between 2011 and 15, the era of China's 12th fifth year plan, the company expects to invest $3.2 billion in broadband projects in Xinjiang, the autonomous region in the northwestern China, as an example. China Telecom also worked to increase voice and data use by improving customer service in its stores and promoting smartphones. It promoted a related sub-brand called Young. During 2012, China Telecom sought to improve its services to customers outside of China. It continued to form partnerships and agreements with telecom providers such as Orange. China Telecom also expanded its services to South Korea and established a mobile virtual network operator arrangement in which it purchased network access in bulk to provide services to its customers in the UK. It's thought to have invested some $200 million in marketing and staff training in its domestic stores for the launch of the iPhone 4S and other smartphones. Now that's a smart move. Now China Telecom operating a mobile network in the UK, now that's what I really call a global world.